Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the official weigh-in ahead of Fight Night Live on BT Sport. We are live from 7 o'clock tomorrow, Friday night, for a night of championship boxing, headlined by a cracking cruiserweight contest between unbeaten Ellis Zorro and Jose Burton, the former British light heavyweight champion for the vacant WBO European Cruiserweight Championship. We're going to weigh in everyone here today and we're going to begin down the card with the six-round welterweight contest. Introducing first to the scales, he has 18 fights to his credit. Please welcome from Czerzanow, Poland, Bartos Glowacki! One hundred and fifty three point four pounds for Bartos Glowacki. And now let's welcome to the scales. He is unbeaten with a record of six wins and no defeats with one draw. Please welcome from York, George G Force Davy. One hundred and fifty three point three pounds for George G Force Davy. Let's get a face off down the front, please. All right, six rounds in the welterweight division tomorrow night. Let's continue the weigh-in process. Our next contest, six rounds in the cruiserweight division. Please first welcome to the scales. He has a record of three wins with only two defeats and one win coming by way of knockout. Please welcome from Karlovac, Croatia, Borna Gurcic. One hundred and ninety six point five pounds for Borna Gurkic. All right, now let's welcome to the scales. He has a record of three wins with only one defeat, with all three wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome from South London, Alloys, the Animal Junior. Two hundred and four pounds and two ounces for Alloys the Animal Junior. Let's get a face off. All right, six rounds in the cruiserweight division tomorrow night, live on BT Sport, Alloys Jr., Borna Gurkic. Let's continue the weigh-in process. Our next contest is six rounds in the super bantamweight division. Introducing first with a record of 15 wins with only three defeats and two draws. Nine big wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome from Cordoba, Nicaragua, Kevin... Trana! One hundred and twenty three point nine pounds for Kevin Trana. Let's welcome to the scales his opponent. 
He has a record of 11 wins with only one defeat and seven wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the former Southern Area Super Bantamweight Champion. Please welcome from Streatham, Chris Bach! One hundred and twenty pounds and six ounces for Chris Bork. Six rounds in the Super Bantamweight division tomorrow night, live on BT Sport. Continuing the weigh-in process, let's welcome to the scales. This is a six-round international cruiserweight contest. Let's first welcome, with a record of 20 wins, nine defeats, and 17 wins coming by way of knockout, from San Miguelito, Panama, Israel Dufus. 202 pounds, 9 ounces for Israel Dufus. All right, now let's welcome to the scales his opponent. He is unbeaten with a record of 7 wins and no defeats. With 4 wins coming by way of knockout, please welcome from Lublin, Poland, Michael Soshinsky! One hundred and ninety-eight point three pounds for Michael Soshinsky. A cracking cruiserweight contest tomorrow night at York Hall. Our next contest is eight rounds in the light heavyweight division. Please welcome first to the scales. He has a record of ten wins with nine defeats and four wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome from Paris, France, Khalid Gradia. Khalid Gradia in action tomorrow night, live on BT Sport. He will be the opponent for Carol Itzalma. <coughs> £174.5 for Khalid Gradia. And now let's welcome to the scales. He has a record of nine wins with only one defeat. Seven wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the former Olympic youth gold medalist. Please welcome from Chatham, Carol Itoma. One seventy nine point seven for Carol Itoma. Eight rounds in the light heavyweight division tomorrow night, live on BT Sport, Carol Atalma and Khalid Gradia. Let's now welcome to the scales our next contest. It's six rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first, competing in his 40th professional contest from Cordoba, Nicaragua, Robin 
Zamora. One forty seven point seven for Robin Zamora. And now let's welcome to the scales his opponent. He is unbeaten with a record of four wins, no defeats, two wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome from Maidstone, Sean the Nightmare No. One forty six point seven for Sean the Nightmare Noakes. It's a six round welterweight contest tomorrow night live on BT Sports. Sean Noakes and Robin Zamora. They're going to do a face off once Sean Noakes has his trainers on, and we've got a few more to weigh in here, including the main event, of course, coming up very shortly, which is Ellis Sorrow against Hosea Burton, WBO Cruiserweight, cr Cruiserweight Championship on the line, European. Yeah. Just there, please. All right, six rounds in the welterweight division tomorrow night live on BT Sport. We continue the weigh-in process here with six rounds in the super featherweight division. Introducing first, he has 14 fights to his credit. Please welcome from Managua, Nicaragua, Eduardo Valverde. One thirty five point three for Eduardo Valverde. And now please welcome to the scales his opponent. He is unbeaten with a record of twelve wins and no defeats. Six wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome from Southampton, Ryan the Piranha Gana. One thirty four point two for Ryan the Piranha Ghana. All right, six rounds in the super featherweight division. We're just locating our fighters to make sure they're both around here. Well, we're going to continue here. It's the WBC International Light Heavyweight Championship on the line. Chief support bout tomorrow night on BT Sport. Introducing first to the scales, he is the challenger. He has a record of 15 wins with only one defeat. 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome from Carstairs, Scotland, Willie. The Hutch Train Hutchinson! One seventy three point nine for Willie the Hutch Train Hutchinson. And now let's welcome to the scales his opponent. He has a record of twenty nine wins, ten defeats, nineteen wins coming by way of knockout. He is the reigning defending WBC International Light Heavyweight Champion. Please welcome from Buenos Aires, Argentina, Ezequiel. Osvaldo Maderna! Yeah. 
174.3 for the champion, Ezequiel Osvaldo Moderna. We've got a face-off here between the champion Ezequiel Osvaldo Moderna and the challenger Willie the Hutch Train Hutchinson WBC International Light Heavyweight Championship on the line live on BT Sport tomorrow night. There you have it, the WBC International Light Heavyweight Championship on the line tomorrow night, live on BT Sport. And now let's weigh in the main event participants. It's the vacant WBO European Cruiserweight Championship on the line. Introducing first, he has a record of 28 wins with only three defeats. 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the former British light heavyweight champion from Manchester, Hosea Burton! One ninety nine point four for Hosea Burton. And now let's welcome to the scales his opponent. He is unbeaten with a record of fifteen wins and no defeats, with six wins coming by way of knockout. Here's the boxer tournament cruiserweight champion. Please welcome from Lewisham Elis Zora. One ninety seven point nine for Ellis Sorrow. And we'll get a face off now between our main event participants. The vacant WBO European Cruiserweight Championship is on the line tomorrow night, live on BT Sport. Let's get a face to face. Well, there you have it, the main event tomorrow night, the vacant WBO European Cruiserweight Championship on the line. Stick with us, we're going to stick around and see if we can grab a few interviews. Thank you.
still not. Well, we've just seen this man weigh in, Hosea Burton. Big fight tomorrow night. European cruiserweight title on the line, the WBO. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. For the first time in a long time, at a weigh-in, I'm happy, and I'm glad it's nearly fight day. Usually I'm thinking, oh, I wish I had another week or so. Mm -hmm. I've got no excuses. I am bang on fire, and you'll see a very good fight from tomorrow. This is it, isn't it? I mean, your, your last couple of fights have been at cruiserweight as you've made that move up. But this is a legit opponent here, 15 and 0. There's no blueprint on how to beat him. How are you treating him? As a 15 and 0 fighter, you know, he hasn't been beat. No one's nailed him down yet. No one knows how good he is yet. But um, do you know? I expect a good fight. He's going to be sharp. He's going to be fast. But who looked the bigger man there in the, at the weigh-in? Me. I'm, I am the bigger man. Um, it's just that I, I used to fool myself and fool everybody else making cruise, uh, light heavyweight mm -hmm. um, I don't think he's ever fought no one like me he's had 15 fights and 15 wins he's never fought nobody like me who's your mate here? this is my little boy oh ok yeah. right. how's, how's, uh, how's your dad going to get on tomorrow? I think he's going to win easy yeah? knockout? well I hope so but I know he's going to win so. Well, your son he seems a little bit here and there about listen, the knockout I like. <laughs> hope so well, listen because we never, we never go looking for yeah. the knockout you know, we're a technical boxer, but you don't get the nickname as the hammer for nothing. So the hammer's back anyway, by the way. The hammer's back. I'll use that tomorrow, the yes. hammer. I forgot to say it today. Okay, tell, tell me this finally. You, you faced off with him. Obviously, you're a, you're a lot taller than him. What did you see in his eyes? Could you take anything from what you what you saw? He's, ve he's drawn. Right. He's very drawn. He's, he's struggling to make the weight. Um, you can't take too much. What can you take by looking at someone in the eyes? But, you know, you could say, oh, yeah, he looks feared. He's this, that, the other. But he's... He, He's a fighting man. He, if he was that scared, he wouldn't be here, would he? You know, it is what it is. It's just going to be a fight, and it's a fight I'm really looking forward to. I'm going to be a European champion. Is this a sort of crossroads fight for you? This, 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 listen, if I lost this, which I'm not going to, this, this is the end of the road. I, I already know that. You know, how many chances does a man need? I'm not here to make the numbers up. I'm here to, to be a world champion. So... If you can't win this, you can't win a world title. So that's the end of the story. What's your boy's name? He's Hosea as well. Hosea. Hosea Jr. Is, uh, is Dad going to become a world champion? Yeah, easy. There you yes, go. Yes, easy. There you go. Hosea, wonderful speaking to you. Don't leave me hanging. And oh, uh, well. I'll take the mic off you. And best of luck to you tomorrow night, my right, friend. Well, that's Hosea Burton. That's one half of the main event tomorrow night. Vacant WBO European Cruiserweight title on the line. Hopefully, we can have a chat with somebody else. We're going to have a look. I'm, I'm hoping that Ellis Sorrow is going to get brought in here. Let's, uh, let's see what Ellis is saying. How you doing? Good. Yeah? What are you eating? What you got? <coughs> there he peanut is, Denzel Bentley. Peanut, yeah. peanut butter bagel. Oh, man. Yeah, any good? Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, he says he's the bigger man. He, he was looking down on you. He looked like the bigger man. Mm -hmm. Why was... Uh, I mean, did he have trainers on and stuff? Like, it looked like quite a size difference. I think he's taller than me. Yeah. Yeah, and he had trainers on, but... Both way the same, roughly the same. So mm -hmm. we'll see what happens tomorrow. Well, look, what did you see in his eyes? I know. Look, I've, I spoke to oh. you about this before, and you're like, look, all these sneaky questions about like, what did you see in his man's eyes? But I'll go ask you. Um, did you anything from it? Didn't really take nothing from it, to be honest. Mm. Um, if I'm being completely honest, no, I didn't see nothing in his eyes. Mm -hmm. No fear, no confidence, nothing. He said to me, if uh, if he loses this fight, it's over. Mm -hmm. Is this kind of a, a crossroads fight for him? Um, what sort of fight is this for you? Is it a similar sort of? Because I see it as a bit of a crossroads fight for the two of you. Yeah, kind of. Um, I plan on sending him into retirement. Then, if that's the case, um, I feel really good this camp. Like, I'm really motivated for this fight. Um, more motivated than I've been for any fight. Why? So Why has this one done it? I think the title fight, the little layoff I've had since the Dex, since the Dex Spellman one. And the doors that this one can open, mm -hmm. um, like I said, being a title fight. Mm -hmm. Experienced guy I'm fighting, most accomplished fighter I'm fighting, former British title holder. Um, and him saying that, you know, I'm not on his level has kind of triggered me just a little bit. 
you a bit of a triggered Zoro here? Just a little bit, yeah. Oh, mate. So, look, it's great to see that they're, you know, you're, you're hyped about this fight. It's a, it's a chance, really, it feels like to me, to send a statement because there's so much going on in your division right now. There's world title fights. Chris Billum Smith is fighting for a world title against mm-hmm. Lawrence Akoli. All these fights are, are happening, mm-hmm. and you're there bubbling away as well. Are you looking to sort of rise above the paraffin? Yeah, well, this, this is the kind of fight, like, a, like I said, getting a title, but this is the kind of fight that will propel me into them names, them conversations, mm-hmm. British titleists uh, at my weight. Um, so yeah, if I put on a good statement and I win well, which I will, um, I feel like my name will be in them circles. Okay. All right. Look, you've made quite a uh, quite a claim saying you're going to send him into retirement. Are mm-hmm. you? Have you got? Are you looking to to get him out of there? Knockout? I feel like that will come. Yeah. I don't yeah. even think I have to force it to be honest. Um, I just think the fact that he's thinking about retirement and I'm not just kind of shows the difference where we are mentally. You know. All yeah. right. Wonderful speaking to you, Ellis. Thank I won't you. keep you any longer. Yeah, Crack on with the Cheers, peanut Deb. butters, whatever you're eating. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> well, there's Ellis Soro, one half of the main event tomorrow night. We're going we're gonna to speak to a, a piranha. I need to, I need to be on alert here. A piranha has joined the stream. How are you, my friend? I'm good, mate. You? Ryan Garner, by the way, isn't, his name's not actually the piranha, no, is it? No, Unless no. you've had it changed, Mark. Maybe, Marvin maybe. Ha- yeah. Marvin, about it. Yeah, Marvin Hagler actually had his changed to marvellous. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, let's, let's bring that so. up here. So this is, this is it, mate. I mean, your, your career so far, it's been like... Stop start, stop start, stop, stop, start. No good, yeah. but you were telling me off camera you're in a better place than ever. Mm-hmm. You've got a family now as well. Yeah, Tell, yeah. Give us a little insight into what's well, going on. Obviously, I had my daughter born in January, so she's nearly four months old. So yeah, obviously I've got commitments now, things I want to do, things I want to achieve in this time now. Instead of, like you said, stop, start career. It's been mm-hmm. pretty rubbish, if I'm honest. So I just want to steady a couple of fights and then start getting on to bigger and better things, winning titles and moving on with my career. It, f- it feels like, from speaking to you as well, that there's there's like a change in luck mm. coming on. Yeah. You, you haven't had the best of luck, but nah. I mean, you're in a lorry accident, right? And yeah. you're still here to tell yeah, the tale. Yeah, that, that was before uh, I was supposed to fight in November, October, November, something mm. like that. That was a good fight against Muhammad Ali was supposed to happen. But we was on the way to sparring the week before, like the last week, the last yeah. hard week of training. Just on the way to sparring and a lorry took us out on the motorway. So like I say, I've not had no good luck. A lot of shows get cancelled, a lot of fights, just loads of shit luck if I'm honest yeah. so hopefully from here on out be good luck and smooth path so like I mean the lorry taking you out yeah, like yeah. How, how serious was that yeah it was bad yeah it was a right the car was a right off and that I think nine times out of ten on the, any other day we would have been a right off ourselves do you know what I mean so it would have been a lot bad but luckily someone was looking down on us I'm still here still kicking and breathing ready to fight and move on now did it do anything to you mentally thinking that that could have been it now on nah, to nah, I don't really do it. Uh, not really. A little bit. Do you know what I mean? It was, it was no at the time. Like, yeah, mate, yeah, yeah. I was pulling my pants. Do you know what I mean? It's scary, scary stuff. Just looking at the grill of Laurie. But mm-hmm. other than that, I'm just move, trying to move on with stuff now. Trying to get on with it. Just trying to get my career moving. Mm-hmm. Like I say, in the past, obviously, I've had other stuff in the future when I was younger happened, and obviously missed out on loads and loads of fights. So I just want to be busy now. Do you know what I mean? It's been a frustrating since I've turned pro eight years ago. It's been mm-hmm. a frustrating time. So from here on out, I want it to be exciting. This is it, the new start for the yeah, Piranha. So you're in the 130-pound division, yeah, right? And I guess you want to make a, a bit of a statement against this guy. I guess you're probably looking around at the Queensbury stable and you're thinking, yeah. Who, who's an easy fight? Are, are you keeping an eye on the likes of nah. Kakachi? No, nah, well, obviously, like, like I said before in a previous interview, they're on bigger things at the moment. They're, I need to get ranked. I need to be busy f- yeah. t- f- to get these fights. I need to be fighting more regularly. Mm-hmm. They ain't gonna after having a year out. They ain't gonna be able to jump in. I ain't got the rankings. They ain't yeah. gonna prove it. That the board ain't gonna prove it. Uh, someone like me who ain't been fighting for a year to then go and jump in with an IBL world champion. It just don't happen. It's not how it works. But like I say, if we get a few few steady fights in a row, mm-hmm. looking good, feeling good, and looking good, knocking people out, or or even just beating their heads off do you know what I mean something, <laughs> something like that so yeah and then, then you get them opportunities so that's the aim just keep winning keep fighting and then these, I'm sure them opportunities will come Frank will deliver them so yeah it's good to have you back yeah, it's, Brian, good to be Brian, back. it's good to um, be back anything you want to anything you want to tell them tomorrow night it's feeding time there you go feeding time feeding time Brilliant. fantastic thank you Ryan Garner <laughs> I'll take that from you and thank you for joining us today, we've got a big show tomorrow night. It's at British Boxing's spiritual home of York Hall. Vacant WBO European Cruiserweight title on the line. A real crossroads fight. 15-0 Ellis Sorrow against former British light heavyweight champion Hosea Burton. Hosea Burton, we've just heard from Burton. He said if he loses, that's it. Ellis Sorrow said he's going to send him into retirement. Loads on the line. Join us from 7 o'clock live on BT Sport.